each year we, uh, we hold an open poll to ask the community to nominate those from the community who made an outstanding contribution to open source. This year is no exception, and we'd like to present the O'Reilly Open Source Awards, and we've asked our co-chair, Matthew McCullough, to come and host these. Matthew. Thank you. This is pretty right. exciting, and uh, while I enjoy the stage, this is pretty nerve-wracking for me, because uh, while I make the most small contributions to open source, but I love it, you know, in a large way. These are the people who are the figureheads and the amazing contributors that have made such a difference to people's work lives that are here and to open source the world over. So it's my pleasure to be able to provide these awards. And we're going to do so in two groups. Uh, the first, we have three people who are not able to join us physically today, but they are on the live stream. So we're going to kind of present those awards in uh, a virtual manner. So we're going to go through those three first. And uh, of those, the very first award winner that we want to virtually present this to you today is Badad Esfavad. And I'm going to read just a bit about, and I have to read because the epicness of this is clearly cannot be memorized in one small morning for each of these contributors. So let me start with Badad. For Badad, uh, through the Harfbuzz project, Badad is working relentlessly to get all languages supported in free software operating systems, word processors, devices, browsers, no matter how complex their scripts are. And as a world traveler myself and working on internationalization in the past, I say thank you for most important work. Badad, let's give a round of applause. Our second winner on the live stream and kind of accepting this virtually today is Jessica McKellar. And this is phenomenal. Python, a, a critical part of my early software career and some scripts of the last couple of years. I'm going to read something about her as well. Jessica is a huge contributor to a large number of open source projects. She has keynoted multiple PyCons, no small feat, mind you. She runs a large women's outreach group. She contributes uh, code to major projects as a professional and a volunteer. And volunteers are so very important to this community. And uh, furthermore, along those lines, she's an Open Hatch board member. How does she have time for all of these <laughs> important things? I'm not clear. And as uh, she contributes a significant volunteer time, wait. This is like overtime at this point to the Python Software Foundation. And she was also a mentor in the outreach program for women. Simply amazing. Give a round of applause for Jessica. Please. Amazing. Phenomenal. Our third winner on the live stream this morning is Lamore Freed. And uh, this is something very near and dear to my heart with the maker culture at GitHub. So trust me, this is also exciting for me to get to present. Through building and growing Adafruit, Lamore makes the world a better place through sharing and good engineering. And there could not be better principles for open source than that. She built Adafruit uh, open source. And because of that, she's inspired a whole community of hackers. And I've seen that firsthand at so many different places and companies that I've worked. And makers follow her lead. That is, that is quite clear. She leads by example. She's incredibly creative and collaborative in everything she builds. And we have physical evidence, which in the open source world is rare, to prove that point. Give a round of applause to Lamont, mm -hmm. please. It is our delight to be able to provide some of these awards in person today. And the first of those is going to be Valerie Aurora. So if she would please join us on stage, I'll read a bit about her contribution. <laughs> Valerie, thank you very much. Well, Valerie is the founder of the ADA Initiative, a nonprofit organization that seeks to increase women's participation in the free culture movement, open source technology, and open source culture. Aurora is known within the Linux community for advocating new developments in file systems in Linux, including ChunkFS and the Union file system. Impressive contributions. Another round of applause mm -hmm. for Valerie. Thank you. Definitely. Our second winner in person, uh, the distinctive, classy, and wonderful gentleman, Paul Fenwick. Uh, I practically need uh, write or say anything about him because the hat alone speaks volumes. But uh, Paul, please join us on stage. <laughs> Woo! Paul, a real pleasure. Thank you. A real pleasure. 
Well, I will still tell you just a bit about Paul for those of you here for one of the first times. For many years, which he's a close family member of this community, Paul Fenwick has been an excellent ambassador for both open source in general and OSCON in particular. His talks and presentations are imaginative, interesting, captivating, and trust me, from sitting in the front row a couple of times, I, I absolutely agree with all of those adjectives. He's always welcoming to newcomers, which is so important to keep this growing and to keep this movement going forward. So that is another important piece for me. And he has no gender, ethnic, or language bias, which, as we all know, is an initiative that we're working so hard in this community to push forward. So to have an example on stage of that is just tremendous. So once again, a thank you and round of applause for Paul's contributions. And one more in person, again a delight, Martin Michael Mayer, we have a little bit of fun things to say about him as well. Please join us on stage. Martin, a pleasure, a real pleasure. Thank you. Uh, Martin is one of the unsung heroes. And in open source, that seems to be kind of a common thread. Unsung is common peace. But people who devote themselves to the important but not always glorious jobs that keep open source healthy. So essentially a doctor of the community in a manner of speaking, although we cannot bestow honor honorary doctorate degrees here on the stage today just a certificate. And uh, it's really delightful to see people take on that role. He's been an active Debian uh, developer for 10 years now, and serving as a Debian project leader for two of them from 2003 to 2005. So another round of applause, and thank you. <laughs> Thanks again. Let me do a quick photo. Yeah, Move on. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> really, really. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you everybody.